Hello and good morning. We are gonna talk about three common mistakes that newbies make when using a millimeter ruler. Three very, very common mistakes that the true newbie makes when first working with their customer and working with the PD stick or millimeter ruler. And of course, we will hop over to the bench and I will show you this up close. One, simply reading it the wrong way. You have not, because you don't live outside the US, been working with one of these since you were born. Do you know how long we've been trying to convert to the metric system? Since 1875. So it's all new to you. You've only had it in your hand a bunch of times and you simply read it wrong. Working with your first couple of customers, you're nervous and you get out this and you're measuring and you simply read the wrong side of the five and you get the old 12 for 17 or one of those common errors. So make absolutely certain you're always double checking your work Reading from the wrong place. I will show you this up close on the bench in a moment. Very, very rare that the millimeter ruler starts at the very end of the millimeter ruler. So you're often counting from the wrong place. Along with this, we'll talk about how do you actually know if your millimeter ruler is right. Number three is simply holding it in the wrong way. There is no perfect way or textbook way, but I'll show you some tips on keeping it centered, pinching it so you're not sliding around and reading the wrong way. How do you get good at this? Well, surprise, surprise, practice, practice, practice. Reading a millimeter ruler wrong, well, it could be nothing. Right, you know, single vision, less than one, who cares? If you had a very high-end progressive, measured wrong, came back, had a remake, that customer doesn't return to your store, that mistake could cost thousands of dollars in lost income. Let's hop over to the bench and take a closer look. All right, so the first thing we talked about is simply reading it wrong. Let me blow that up for you. I'm saying that it is relatively easy. You've got your zero, you've got your one, you've got a five, you've got a five between the one and the two. Pretty easy when you're new, be on the wrong side of the five and be reading 12 or 17. It's a pretty common one. And again, this is 100% for you newbies. Trust me, that happens. So just pay really close attention to that and practice, practice. This is a huge one, and that is simply reading from the wrong place. It doesn't start here. You can't use the end of that ruler as your zero point. There is zero. You've got what? Probably four millimeters, three, four millimeters between here and here. If you try to rest this and use this as the end, you're going to have the wrong reading. So be careful about that. And almost all of them are like that. You got that one. You have this one. Same thing. Huge gap between the end of it and zero. This is one of the rare ones where the end of the ruler is actually zero from here to here would be 10 millimeters. Here's another, if you tried to use it from here, well, obviously you'd be crazy off, but you have a good millimeter gap between here and there as well. The seg gauge is a good example of the perfect zero at the bottom of it, and then five, 10, 15, and we'll look at how you use those in a day or two. Related to that is, how do you even know if your millimeter ruler is correct or not? Well, first thing I would do is just simply compare my different ones. Let's see. That looks pretty good. And I could put this one, and that one. And that looks pretty darn good. And then we can put this one. So, 
This stack is really good, but it does happen. We had it happen at the school one time. Somebody had donated 100 PED sticks, and they actually all turned out to be wrong. The other way, obviously, would be to take a set of calipers, good ones, open that up to your millimeter there, and, of course, see what you've got between those points. And that looks pretty darn good. Don't overlook that. If you've got some questionable ones, something just doesn't quite seem right, double check that. Now, how to hold the PD stick to get your most accurate reading, in addition to keeping track of where that zero is. And the thing you want to avoid at all cost is the old holding it like this. Uh, it, this is not going to work. Once you have your zero point done, pinch here, finger, finger, squeezing very tight. So you're holding that in a very fixed position. And then, only then, can you read across. And I'm also pushing up from here and pressing down here, further isolating this so I can't give it one of these or one of these, shift a little bit and be off those couple of millimeters that might cost you later. Learn to pinch, and that way you can move it around a whole lot. You can look, you can recenter it, pinch down again, and get your reading. Beautiful 40 there. All right, so for you newbies out there, make sure that you practice. Look out for those common mistakes so that you can avoid any costly errors. Thank you so much for watching. If you are watching us on Facebook, please give us a like. Watching us on YouTube, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there in the corner. Make sure that every lens you're using your millimeter ruler to measure for comes from Laramie K. And I will see you again next week when I hope it's a little warmer.